So today we're going to be programming our first program using Visual Basic. So the first thing you need to do is open up Visual Studio and from there select New Project. Make sure you're underneath Visual Basic right over here and also make sure you're underneath Windows Form Application. The next thing we're going to do is find a name for our program. This program is just going to read out Hello World onto the screen. So I'm going to name it Hello World Program. Next, just click OK. So here we are. Now the first thing we're going to do, if it's not already there, we're going to make sure we have the toolbox on the side of the screen. So go underneath View, and then from there, View Toolbox, and make sure you click the little pin so it doesn't automatically hide. This toolbox contains all the objects that we can put onto our program. There's buttons and labels and checkboxes. So to add an object onto the form, you can either double tap or just drag it onto the screen. For this specific program, we're only going to be using the button and the label. The description of the button says that it raises an event when the user clicks on it, which basically means when the user of the program clicks on the button, something happens, and we can decide what that something is through the code, which we're going to do very shortly. The next thing we're going to add is the label, and the label displays a message onto the screen. And we're going to use this label to display the words Hello World when the button is clicked. So as you can see, the text of the button just says Button 1. This does not tell the user at all what the button actually does, so to change the text of the button, we're going to go to the Properties section of the Visual Basic, and underneath Appearance, we're going to go underneath Text, and we're going to write something for the text property of the button that tells the user exactly what this button does. Now, as you can see, the text that I put in was too long for the button and you can't see the entire message. That's no problem, you can just drag and change the size of the button anytime you want. Same thing with the label, we don't actually want any text right now, we want the text to appear once the button is clicked, so we're just going to leave the text property blank for right now. The thing we're going to do is name the button. It's really important, please remember to name all of your objects so you don't get confused. The default name is button1, but again, this button1 doesn't really tell us anything about the button itself. So we're going to go underneath design and name, and we're going to type in something that that's easy to remember and tells us what the function of the button is. So I'm going to call this button hello world. Now what we're going to do is the same thing for the label. We need to change the name of the label as well. And I'm going to call the label, label hello world. Alright, so now that all that is out of the way, we can start actually writing the code for our program. We want the words hello world to appear when we click the button. So to write the code for that, we're just going to double click on the button. And it should automatically open up the class and the sub for you, which is one of the great things about Visual Basic. It's really good for beginners. So what, we're, what we want to change is the text of label hello world. So to do that, we're going to go into the code and underneath the sub that was created for the button, we're going to start typing label hello world. And if it shows down in the Dropbox menu and you don't want to type all of it, you can just type tab and it will fill out the rest for you. We want to change the text property of label hello world, so we're going to go dot and text. And then we want it to equal whatever we want it to equal, so we're going to type in equals. And since we want it to read the message hello world, we're going to type out some quotation marks. The so quotation marks are extremely important. And then inside the quotation marks, we're going to type out hello world. I'll explain why the quotation marks are important in a later on tutorial. Basically, that's it. We've made our first program. To run it, we just need to click the green start button. And it will compile and our program's right there. So we have the click me for a message and when you click it, it shows the words hello world. To stop running your program, all you have to do is click the red stop button at the top of the screen and it should take you back to the editor. So that's basically it. From here, there's so many different things you can do to customize your program. 
For example, you can change the text property of the window and have it say something other than Form 1. You can change the color, the font, but I'll go into all of these options in the next tutorial. And that should be coming out very, very soon in the next couple of days. Thank you so much for watching, and if this helped you, please like this video, comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!